Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be using deliberate practice methods for Magic the Gathering as Sultai Midrange, my favorite archetype, which is, you know, midrange, not particular Sultai. Actually, I hate the green color of Magic. I know, usually people hate blue. I generally play blue. Anyway, it's a pretty interesting matchup we've got going on here at first. Anyway, less commentary and more analysis of the mistakes, because that is the goal. I know, it's not going to be a lot of fun to watch, but it will be very informational, and I do this anyway, so... Might as well show others... Okay, gonna, okay let's see. Okay, we're at turn 3. At this point, I have figured out my opponent is playing something different. Jade Light Ranger goes down. And Drought Spiral. Mm -hmm. So far, I do not see any mistakes. Yes, this one has to go to Graveyard. Because it will not be useful. Carnage Tyrant, looking at my opponent's colors, I figured. And Growth Spiral, he's playing a control deck, which means counter spells. I cannot afford to put Carnage Tyrant into the Graveyard and try to take it back. For obvious reasons. A few ramp spells would have helped in this case. Okay, I just tapped. We are swinging for six. Notice my opponent makes a mistake with the blink of an eye. You should have done that sooner before the damage. But regardless, it's still a bad move because I will be able to explore double. So knowing that my opponent most likely has a counter spell, I'll need to bait it out. So that he doesn't hit something actually valuable. Okay, up. Bait to life. Now... This was a good move because life is not going to be a factor in this matchup. Now here comes the bait. Indian Raid gets countered as expected. Hmm. Teferi goes down. This isn't a fight you can win. Minus three. Take time out. Well, not two one. Okay, so... Now here's the dilemma. Carnage Tyrant or... Wild Growth Walker with the Jade Light Ranger. Idea being... He has a creature. Hmm, now that I think about it, this... No, this was not a mistake. Because what I need to do is I need to spread out the damage. Even if he has a removal, you know he will I'm only be able done. to target one of them. And with Carnage Tyrant, I would not be able to hit both his life points and Teferi. Now, taking out Teferi is very much crucial. Because when he starts spamming his uh, Nexus of Fate... I will be needing to take that out. So, no misplays thus far. That's um, good in a way. But knows about Carnage Tyrant. He knows about Branch Walker. Getting rid of a card that he already knows I've got. I cannot play both Branch Walker and Carnage Tyrant. That's what I'm counting for. But first, we have to. Now, my sequence here, and I hope you agree, is first you plan. You make your initial plan, and oh, then you attack, and then you cast. And the reason behind that is simple, because there are some spells, especially in this deck, that are better cast before combat. But generally you want to cast it after the combat phase. 
So my opponent has got three, six, seven lands, which means it's time for a Nexus of Fate. I hate these degenerate decks. Well, this is the crucial turn, so he either wins or loses in this specific turn. Wilderness Reclamation, the card that literally pays for itself in the same turn that it is cast. Who the hell thought it would be a good idea? So he practically played three turns. Fast forward it a bit. Because the video footage was apparently having some issues. But basically my opponent cast another wildness reclamation and is now infinitely looping the uh, Nexus of Fate and Ascanta. Basically, all he needs to pull off his combo is Wilderness Reclamation, a Finished Escanta, and Nexus of Fates, but basically those two and you're done. Now the question is, can you pull enough Nexus of Fates? The qu answer is absolutely. In fact, we are gonna see next match how my opponent naturally pulls multiple Nexus of Faith, but spoilers. Okay, here as you can see, I can basically do anything. I'm trying to see if my opponent is going to screw up. And will actually give me the game. He currently has 4 6 mana. Well, he's got another Nexus of Fate already in, so he already has a, another turn after this. At least I do see a mistake that I didn't realize he's already entered the infant loop. At this point, I'm considering if Carnage Tyrant would be able to just win on his own, because he won't be able to be targeted by the Teferi Zemblum. And since my opponent has got Nif Mizzet, yeah. No time for a break. Infinite turns means he will just will be able to infinitely ping me. Or just swing with Nif Mizzet. Yep. Seed. Okay, sideboarding time. Now one of the most important decisions. Uh we are removing gonna remove the ramp. Although maybe the ramp will be okay. Yeah, the Wildgrove Walker goes down. These go down. All removals. Actually, I should have removed the uh, Raska's Contempt. Maybe. Yeah. Although, what am I gonna replace it with? Yeah, Hostage Shakers are not gonna be good for this one. Oh, we will need to. Okay, yeah, I found a mistake. Instead of those, I should have removed Raska's Contempt. Now I'm adding two hostage takers. Uh, line of War Elves. Yeah, I, I think I will need some uh, ramp. My opponent is ramping up fast. Okay, I kept two of the ramp spells, but I think I should remove Raska's Contempt. Always consider what your opponent has. Under normal circumstances, that would indeed be the better to keep the Raska's Contempts in the deck. Now, this hand, I, I don't know. I felt like it was keepable. But it does gonna cause me a bit of grief, so maybe I should have mulliganed. Yep, from Thought Erasure, good choice. Rusk's Contempt. Yeah, Rusk's Contempt are gonna be useless on this matchup. 
because he is not gonna drop a Teferi without a protection. And 4 mana is just way too much when I'm trying to beat them down. So yeah, like a... Uh, for example, if I had pulled a Llanowar Elf instead of Rasputin Shem, that thing would have already been on the field and would have already been swinging. Would have had 4 mana by now. Now we are... Graveyard, yep. We do not have a blue mana, so it's practically useless. So an eye with a kicker. Mm -hmm. I know he's got a board wipe, so what I'm going to do, I will bait it out. Bolinish Reclamation. Take so far, so that I can see. Duress to keep or to not. Yeah, I need the land. I needed the land. So, can't afford to miss one drop. Besides, I need a blue source so that I'll be able to cast Negate against his um, stuff. Yeah, now while I do have notes on what to bring in for the archetype kind of matchups, other cards such as ramps, I think they should stay if my opponent does not have a board wipe. Now in this case he does have a board wipe, but it would still be good enough to keep it on the uh, in the deck, you know? Okay, that's the Nexus of Fate number one. Now, let's see. It's just a random card. Wilderness Reclamation. Nexus of Fate, number two. Back to his deck. Nexus of Fate, number three. As you can see, he has already started looping it indefinitely. Fortunately, now he didn't pull one, so that was good. Okay, Lana War Elf. That's the, basically the only thing I can cast. I'll find Finality also could work, but... Now... Should I have cast Find Finality there? Okay. So I do cast it. Yeah, Marco Branch Falker is gonna be important, and if I do get a blue source, I can bring in a strong Hydroid Crisis. Uh, I should not have done that. Oh, wait, no. I'm waiting for the uh, uh, Ritual of Soot, so I'm baiting him out. Good. Yep. Bait successful. Now let's refill the board. Exploration to get a blue source, and a blue source comes down. Quick, play the Thief of Sanity. Yes. Okay, I don't think I'm making any mistakes thus far. I've got a negate against his stuff. I mean, sure, he might have an extra fate or whatever. Blink of an eye. Oh, boo hoo. Big deal. Yep, this was the right choice so that I will have a uh, mana open for negate. As well as be able to cast most of my. Now, is it a mistake to cast it first? Yes, a minor one, but a mistake nonetheless. So I should have swung first. Yeah, 
This is why we watch these. Minor mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. Okay, so the gate will not now. It's not a legitimate threat. More, uh, there's a chance he'll pull land, so... He has a Nexus, doesn't he? Nexus of Faith, number four. I negate it. My opponent, I believe, yep, he also has a counter spell, so Nexus of Fate goes through. He gets to play two more turns! Because of a 4-drop that pays for itself at the end of the turn. Seriously, who the hell designed this thing? Okay, that's been four Nexus of Fates thus far. Hydroid Crisis goes to Graveyard. I'm checking how many Thought Erasures he had. And now he gets to basically play another turn. Yeah. I'm hoping he doesn't have a weak snare. That's a good hit. Thief of Sanity takes it. And I take out his Chemisters in sight. Now knowing that I should not use Chemister's Insight because it will go to his graveyard and he'll be able to pay the... Uh, 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 he'll be able to recast the... Uh, is it thing? Okay, Hydroid Crisis. Those are the six, Sinister Sabotage. I was kind of expecting that. However, Hydroid Crisis still brings it down. Carnage Tyrant is now in my hand and I'll bring it in next turn. So this way I'm uh, kind of holding hostage his chem one of his canisters and sights. Which are important parts of his puzzle. It is a combo deck, essentially. Oh, he had to take out a wilderness reclamation to draw more cards so that he could get pieces of his engine. Road spiral, hand sword. Opponent realized he does not have enough, and he could have lasted for one more turn with that, but he gave up. We are keeping it like this. I should have probably added an Assassin's Trophy there. Yeah, an Assassin's Trophy should have been added um, to remove the enchantments. Uh, other than that, add in the ramp, but what were we going to remove? Damn it. Uh... Hostage Shakers? Yeah. R Raskas. Yeah, yeah. Remove three Raskas, add in the uh, two more Lana Wars and one more. Yeah. Consider that. Mm hmm. See, the uh, sideboarding is a very important element of this game. I mean, if you know your opponent does not have, you know, major threats that you need to. Uh, take out by Rask's Contempt. And as mid-range, you know, you've got creatures to do the lifting for you. So, let's see. Okay, this is a risky hand. This is a very risky hand, but I have Carnage Tyrant in my hand. So, and one of the Land of War Elves, which allow me to ramp up. Okay, this was a bad move. I should have put down a forest instead. I didn't see one of the lands, so that's one more mistake. Bleeding pool, enter stepped. Swing with Lanawar. My opponent does a dumb. Enter stepped. That puts me at four mana available. Find finality could be important if my opponent wipes the board. Jade Light Ranger, uh, bait for a counter spell. Okay, yep, I calculated that. Yep, no, you gotta swing first. Okay.
I suspect that he would bring an Absorb by his deck instead of Sinister Sabotage, which in this case definitely does not do him any favors. Yeah, pull the Jurass. Tarnished Tarrant has to go down on this turn. I was hoping he would try to counter it. it was funny. Yep, that's a hexproof, mate. All in this reclamation. There goes the cancer. Now, you might think that playing, not playing Jurass would have been bad, but I'll have to disagree with that. Now, eight, so he's got, he's on a two-turn counter. On a two-turn clock. Anticipate, yep, a hand sword. Gate, perfect. Let's take a look at his hand. It is important because I don't want any root snares, although because it's an instant. Get that next sulfate out of here. Whee! Yeah. Screw that thing. Okay, that's gonna be his last turn, and I have a negate, so. Even if he does try to pull a uh, Nexus of Fate shenanigans, I will have a way of stopping it. Now, one question is, should I have used Find Finality there? You know, to bring in more creatures. In case he had a heal. Yeah, I should have used the fine finality. I would still have enough mana to cast uh, Negate, so. Yep, you gotta use all of that mana. That's another mistake. on drawing. This is your last Wilderness Reclamation proc, so use it wisely. Expect he'll try to pull a uh, Nexus of Fate. Just look at the arm on that thing. It's really good. Yep, this smells like a Nexus of Fate. Now has the mana open. It's a growth spiral, okay. Five, he does have enough mana. And he doesn't have one, which means I win. Well, okay, so for the thing, we recap. Sideboard, take out Nexus, uh, Raskus Contempt if he does not have a direct opposition to me uh, with a threat such as uh, Teferi that I cannot take out or he can block. And add in Assassin's Trophy against uh, similar threats. Basically need to be more thoughtful when it comes to sideboard and less robotic. Well, thanks for joining me and we will see you next time.